What's happening good people? Welcome to the channel. I'm Wes aka Mr Budget Watch and today we are doing an unboxing. So uh, I recently got a comment on uh, a video of mine, what I recently did, uh, saying I should take a look at watches from outside of China because you know I uh, cover a lot of watches that are Chinese made on the channel because I think you know they've got the place, they're good value. But anyway, someone said, you know what, why not, you know, mix things up a bit and, you know, take a look at something different. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, oh, actually, I forgot my scissors. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, what I'm going to be taking a look at. So you've seen by the title and thinking what it is already. Uh, and this is actually my second Loris. I had uh, one of their field watches, uh, what I reviewed, like one of my first videos. Uh, so I thought, you know what, let's, uh, you know, have another look at a different one. So it comes in pretty uh, much a standard box. No, uh, not special really. It's kind of like a uh, Seiko box. Little uh, felt protector, and there is the watch. So I'll uh, just pop it to one side and see if you get anything else. And you do. So just shift all that out of the way. So it looks like you get your instruction manual and a guarantee booklet, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at this. Oh, let's uh, shift the pillow out of the way and the cushion. And there you have it. So this is a uh, chronograph. As you can see, it's quartz. Just having a uh, quick look. So it's got a uh, not as much plastic as the uh, Chinese put on theirs, but it does have some on the bracelet. Uh, that's like stuck at this side, a bit strange. Oh, it's, it's all on the inside. So they put plastic on the inside where the watches mm, don't really matter too much if it gets scratched, but they've left it off the outside. Uh, that's a first. Uh, it looks like we've got some more plastic or has that all come off? Yeah, that's all, uh, that's all come off. Right, so, uh, ooh. Got a rattly bracelet, so we have a uh, metal bracelet. Oh, hang on, there's more plastic. Let's just take that off. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. So, first things first, first impressions. I like the styling of it, I think it's uh, really nice and it is upside down. So, we've got triple sub dial layout, we've got a little date, so we've got 60 second, one in one tenth and then a minute as well. So that's really handy actually. It's got some good features. Uh, it feels very, very light, but then again, it's just a quartz. Got a decent bit of shape to the case though. This bracelet, not good. We've got like folded links, hollow end links, brushed uh, clasp, double pushes, and it is pressed, but they've actually took some out of it which is a little bit peculiar. I've never seen a uh, press clasp like that before. But that's how it closes. We do have some micro adjustment though, which is always nice to see. So first impressions, this bracelet is definitely akin to, uh, you know, more affordable Seikos. Uh, so I'm going to try it on this though. You know, uh, I've got to give it a fair try. Because usually these bracelets, although they're not very well made, they're actually quite comfortable. So you can just see the links on the inside, they're all brushed. If it'll focus, there we go. So you can see it's all brushed and you can see that they are folded, polished at the sides. I do quite like this uh, little accent of high polish though. It's not over the top. We've got some uh, brushing on the lugs, which feels a little bit coarse. So that's not the best. High polish bezel. I do quite like the dial though, it's got a couple of different textures. I think this should look pretty cool under macro to see how uh, you know neat and tidy all the printing and stuff is. Looks like we've got a raised little uh, track around that sub dial, just to give the dial a little bit of depth. We've also got some more texture there. Looks like we've got applied uh, indices as well. They're very shallow, but they are applied. Uh, we do have loom too, you can just see on the edges of the indices and on the main hands. I'm not sure if the little uh, hands are loomed, I'm going to guess probably not for the price point. So we've got two pushes, so one of them you can see that starts your uh, 1 in 10, and you can see the second is going. And obviously when that does a full thing, the minute one will move as well. So you press it again to stop it. Bottom one resets and you can see it all springs back to place. Everything first impressions looks like it lines up. 
second hand is hitting some markers and missing others so yeah uh, pretty typical of quartz let's have a look at the case back it is screwed down though which is nice circular brushing uh logo is very very finely uh oh i don't know actually is it like laser engraved laser etched possibly i think it might be laser etched because there's no depth to it usually when you get like etching and stuff there's a bit of texture but it's actually quite flat so yeah first impressions the watch body feels good the bracelet oh hang on there's more bleeding plastic get off um so yeah first impressions bracelet bit of a mixed bag the watch actually feels decent though clasp it is what it is it does its job uh, but yeah first impressions yeah I, I quite like it i like the styling i don't know what it's going to wear like though because it's uh looks a little bit big and i hate adjusting these bracelets as well they're a proper pain that's what it looks like on wrist so it's midge too big lug to lug for me but you know i think it could be uh, quite comfortable the bracelet is absolutely ginormous though i mean look at the size of that that is huge uh so yeah oh i already felt a hair pull there and i've not even got it on uh so this is going to be fun so uh yeah review of this one coming soon and if you guys want to see more uh, you know non-chinese brands on the channel uh, maybe some rotaries some secondas and stuff like that you know let me know uh, if uh, there's any brands uh, that don't get looked enough if you want them featured drop me a comment thanks for watching the video be sure to subscribe if you haven't already like the video if you enjoyed it Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. And of course, follow me on social media at Mr. Budget Watch. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.